very, very frosty morning. It's very beautiful, but very destructive. The tulips that were perfection yesterday are all being very hit by them, by the frost. You can see they're all lopsided. Hopefully they'll recover. But the real worry, you can see the frost all the way across the grass. The real worry is that pear tree, like all our fruit trees, is in full bloom. And when the frost hits the blossom, the blossom don't like it. And it falls before the fruit is pollinated. And over there, those are all cherry trees over there. Those are all cherry trees. That's a bank of cherry trees. So that's uh, our cooking pear. And then over here, this isn't even the orchard. This is just the garden. Over there, that's my wonderful invention of my grandfather's. That's the papal that produces delicious fruit that is a cross between an apple and a pear. And it's not marketable unless you came and picked it to eat it because it's, it changes flavor. You pick it, it tastes one way. Two hours later, it tastes another way. Three hours later, or even the next day, it tastes another way. This is such an amazing fruit tree. And I have friends who literally want to know when they're ripe and ready in October and come just to eat papples. It's a fantastic tree. So I don't know how much fruit we're gonna have this year with this heavy frost on the ground. You can see even the dandelions aren't liking it. Those are dandelions right there. So that is this morning's adventure or non-adventure. Wish we didn't have such a hard frost. Hey puppers! Those two are always playing.